what's happening gamers? Welcome back to Destiny, the Alpha. This is K-Wing Reviews, and we're back here in the beta. You can literally tell it's the beta because I'm supposed to be sitting in snow, and, well, yeah. <laughs> Things don't look very good, do they? Uh, but, it, it, you know, it's just a small little thing. Besides, look at how expansive and awesome the environment is. So today, um, we're going to go behind enemy lines. And I'm trying to get past the tank area here. There's always a lot of enemies that hang out here, but I want to show uh, more of this area of the map. I could get into my land speeder, which maybe I should because I'm really not strong enough to fight all these enemies. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's see if I can use my little speeder thing here and get past this area. You can actually go inside the buildings too with this if you're good at, you know maneuvering this thing, which I'm not. I'm terrible at it. Oh! I'm gonna have to ditch the speeder. Um, I don't know if there's any other players in here, but there are only level 4s in here, so I think I can take all these guys out. It's just gonna take me some time. So if I go dark or quiet for time to time, it's because I'm not, not the best at this. Which I'm uh, not ashamed to admit. This thing is a real pain in the neck, so I'm gonna use my super on it. Nice work. I'll let the tower know what we just took out. What did I just do? Did I do something awesome? I didn't realize I did. All right, those annoying R2 units are really whatever they are. They're they're very annoying. All right, so this is another enemy kind of stronghold or weapon area, whatever. Um, level 4s hang out here, although sometimes there can be 8s or 9s, and uh, the question mark guys appear randomly sometimes, but there are a lot of places that you can explore. Like, I think I can even go in here. Nope. Can't go in here. That's a shame. Kind of wanted to. Now, hopefully I don't get my bearings messed up and end up being lost again. I'm pretty sure I came in this way. This looks kind of familiar. So I'm going to go out the other door. Um, one thing that you'll learn about me is I'm not the best when it comes to directions. It's never, I mean, well, if you've seen my Batman Arkham series, any of them, um, without my uh, little navigator sitting next to me, my wife, I would get lost all the time. It's very fun being a dyslexic sometimes because you don't know your left from your right or your right from your left. And, uh, you know, it's very easy to just end up running around in circles. But uh, can I go under here? Nope. Can't go in there. Seems like they had some type of get together here, maybe a dinner party. I don't know. But uh, hopefully, if I did this right, we're going to be out near the lake area, which is something I want to show. But I think I messed up and we're heading. Well, no, I'm in the factory. Shoot. But um, this is another area I can show. So, but uh, I I won't be able to beat the enemies here. Not with the weapon that I have. I need my rocket launcher, and this character. Um, I stopped playing after I was humiliated with my first episode, so he's not, he's not the max level, so Slim easily, easily killed. That's why I punch a lot of people or use my super, because I don't know how far I'm gonna get. Yeah, I think it's this way. I think it's this way. Yeah, this looks different, a little bit. Um, one thing I have noticed about this game, when they have water reflections and things like that, they don't have it for the people. Like, you can see the environment and ceilings and things like that, but you can't see the other people. Which is a pain. Um, uh, it's, it's a little, little nitpick for me. Okay, that scared me. I was thinking an alien was gonna pop out or something. I hate jump scares. I hate them. I hate them so much. Oh! Pulse is probably going about 80 now. Let's see. Um, nope, this isn't it. Someone's gonna pop out at me, or I'm gonna go to my flashlight soon. What's what's happening? Did I go around in circles? Was that another player? No, it was not. I'm still in the factory. The music here isn't helping me. Um. <sighs> wow, it's a little little tense. Uh, Bungie does a great job of building up momentum and tension, like, you know, 
But I never really played the Halo cities. I or the here Halo series, excuse me. Halo cities, yeah. Um, I did play a lot of Metroid Prime, but I wasn't the best Prime player back in the day. Um, which which way going here? Yeah, this is it. This is this is um kind of no no this is wrong. I thought this was gonna be the area, but it's not. This is the junkyard, which maybe people aren't showing a lot, but like I said, I'm exploring as much as I can because this is a a big environment and you can just see the game looks fantastic uh, of course the game's gonna look the best on PC but PS4 this isn't bad you know there's really no drop in frames or anything like that and uh, the game looks pretty cool but I you know I've never really understood the whole graphic specs it's never been a big thing for me um, you know but I mean just just take a look at that take a picture you know mental mental snapshot at this this is just amazing you know um, you can see, I think that's the moon up there, where all these crazy aliens come from. Whoa! Don't want to have a death. Maybe there'll be a box over here? No. I've, I've gone too far. There's not even any enemies spawning over in this area. So, I mean, I'm outside of the uh, city, I guess, or, like, I'm probably going to end up getting killed. I'm just looking for secrets. Whoa. And, uh, have no idea where I'm going to end up, but this is the part of the lake it's not the part that i can go through though if i drop down there i'm gonna die pretty sure so i don't want up oh, i can't walk yeah i can't go past this point so this is the furthest i've ever gotten now like in terms of exploration this is the furthest if i go down here it's death yep uh, i died where did it respawn me oh okay in the junkyard area all right that's fine that's fine so, um, sometimes I remember my fire team and I encountered some enemies over here, but it doesn't look like I'm running into any. Uh, they were hiding in the cars and things like that. But, um, yeah, this is a cool place for a little battlefield. You know, maybe like some type of epic... This is where the tank fight should have taken place. Like that tank that you've seen in some people's, like, uh, playthroughs of this game. This is the area that the tank should have dropped in. So yeah, it, it's more fitting. Maybe maybe have the tank like transform in all these cars. It like uses them to create like this massive thing. But uh, we're in what Russia used to be in this world or something like that. But uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. I've never really been here much. I'm gonna try to jump over this. Get to the other bridge. Is it possible? Let's give a do a running jump. It is pot. No, no, denied, denied. Oh, come on, come on, guys. Uh, apparently I can't do that. That's sad. <laughs> the other players are probably like, "Where is he? What are you doing?" It's like I don't know what I'm doing, but this is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's K Wing the Explorer. That's what this is. Just hoping for some more enemies. Let's get my bike out. Unable to summon bike here. Oh, so I've actually gone outside the game's jurisdiction. What about what about if I move over here? Is this enough room to summon it? Nope. So I'm in unknown territory for the game. The developers probably don't want me to show this because when I get to a certain part, my character just runs into a wall. But um, this isn't the lake area. This is still pretty cool though. I've I've never gone this far. I made it, what happened was um, last time, when I was playing last night, I came out to the area where the cars were, but I just, you know, I didn't think of any, anything of it because there were no enemies or anything like that. So, oh, I think I broke the demo. Oh, I broke the demo. Wow. Uh, sorry, Bungie. <laughs> this is my, my bad. And we're back. Sorry about that, Bungie. Beacon signals all around. Yeah, that, that wasn't the best. <laughs> that wasn't my brightest idea. Uh, that was pretty cool, though. I didn't think I would I would jam up the thing, though. I'm glad I didn't shut off anybody else's game. That would be... I don't want FPS players calling out for my death when I'm just having fun exploring. Because, I mean, they even told me. They said, go as far as you can in the game. I was like, okay. Because there's only one real mission. But I guess people just want to see me shoot and fight things. 
Hey, did you see that? Wait, is that Cowboy? No, that's somebody different. How's it going? My bike disappeared. I, I guess I, maybe I... Yeah. That's considered a wave. That's more like a bow. Yeah, so I guess I knew I was in problems when my bike couldn't be summoned. Maybe that should have had the spider sense going off, K-Wing sense, but it really didn't. No, no, I didn't want to jump off my bike. Get back on your bike, dude. Get back on the bike. So, okay, let's go. Nope, I don't want to be here. You guys can't kill my bike. You're not strong enough. You're not a level six. I'm gonna go to the airplane area, which I think is over this way. Oops. I didn't know I could ram those things. Oops. Uh, let's see where. Where did I go? Oh, I got turned around. Oh, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I'm just gonna have to face these turkeys. That's what you get. That's what you get. What? There's still one? Where? Where is it? Oh. Mm. Now going down there, that's where the question mark guys are, so we're not going there. No, thank you. And that down there is the other area I don't want to go to. So, going this way, I think. Yeah, this is the way I want to go. Man, come on, can't you guys like leave my bike alone? Never trash a guy's bike. That's that's the rule. That's the rule that you should abide by. Okay? Yeah. So, when you're on foot, you have to fight a lot of enemies, which I actually like because it ups my kill count. Now, I don't know what's going to happen with my kill count, like what that even does. Maybe it helps me level up faster. Maybe it helps me get, like, a better rank, or maybe other players respect me more. I don't know. I just kill as many enemies as I can, just like an RPG. I'm just used to killing lots of things, you know? So, yeah, that's why I do that. Let's go explore over here. No, I'm not doing a mission, because it's not really a mission. It's more like a side mission. Because if it was a mission after completion, then I would end up going back into space at the end, and I don't. I just kind of stay out here on the map, doing my thing. I think this is a shortcut up here. Should be the wizard area here. But there's also, there's a, yeah, this is a hangar area. Okay. So this is how I got to that area I want to show. Because I, I want to show that area because it was really cool. And it had, like, um, it felt very, like, Lord of the Rings-ish. Like, it was really pretty and it had tons of trees and things like that. And there was a really powerful enemy there. It looked like um, the Thing or something. But uh, I wanted to show that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, though. What? No, that's just a, that's just a nobody. You're a nobody. Where'd you go? Eh. I love punching. Just call me punchy. That's what I said in my live stream, I guess. I don't know. I don't really... I'm not... You know... I don't really know a lot about shooters and things like that, so... Just kinda... Uh, I guess I'm playing this game like an action game. I don't know. Guys get too close to me, I just punch them. Because chances are I'm not going to be able to hit them at all, so, yeah. What insignia is that? That doesn't look like any Russian symbol I've seen. Probably made up for this game. Can I, uh, use my thing on here? Sweet! And one thing I would like to see, though, in this game, I'm just, you know, would be some type of, like, fighter jet. Like, or something else. Like, it would be cool to have, like, weapons on these things. Then it'd be easy to take care of some of these dudes. But no, I haven't seen that yet. So I guess we're gonna have to go through the fun house up here to get to that area I found. Unless is this cave open? Yeah, this is yep. This is a this is a cool little area. This is a one of the caves and there's all kinds of enemies that hide in here. They're really strong too, see? Level level 11. I'm not going to be able to beat this guy. I'm not going to be able to beat any of these guys. <laughs> so, 
so let's let's just go down the cave and see what happens. Uh, how far down can I go? Wait, I just went back out. Oh, cool. I'm still pretty strong with my punches, though. There we go. Um, let's go back in here. I'm just gonna run past these guys now that I know what's down here. And I haven't explored everywhere in this game, so... I wonder, can I kill him with the super? Nope! Nope! I cannot kill him with the super! He can't die from the super. Wow. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Can we be friends here? A little bit? A little bit of friend... friendship? Um... What did a grenade do? Grenade... Grenade hurt you at all? I'm never giving up. I'm gonna keep going, even though these guys are way outside my uh, skill level. Wow, I'm not even doing any damage. Alright, you know, he who runs away lives to fight another day, so that's, that's what's happening here. Knock some sense in you. There you go. Alright, so that cave is a no-no, but you can see what I was talking about where enemies get like really strong and things like that. So, I mean, there's lots to do, even in the alpha, I mean. I'm surprised how much their content is, like, in this. You know, for, for a beta or whatever. This is pretty cool. I mean, if they didn't cut this out on Sunday, I would stop really... I'd probably be playing it for, like, I don't know, maybe another day or two? A couple days? I don't know. Wait, I went in this cave, didn't I? Yeah, I did this already. No, no, no. Go back, go back, go back. I don't want to go there. Uh, so... Guess... I have to... Oh, I could go up there. I think. Find out. Up. Up. And away! Yes! Made it. First try. Uh, oh, that looks like death. Yeah. Alright, so I have to go through the funhouse. Man. I was hoping there'd be... Something interesting on the other side. I want to get over there, but I think I have to go through this warehouse thing in order to do that And like I said before most of the missions that happen take place Over here, which is where the wizard is so I mean when you're first flaying the alpha if you did this is the place where the wizard is Oops That got him. All right, all right. So let's go see the wizard. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of the fallen. Because, because, because. I don't know why. Just because I want to. Could be considered a celebrity of this planet or something. Oh, that's new. I don't remember enemies being here. Okay. Oh, that's right. The hatches are open. That's why. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. It's a lot different without my team, though. This is kind of scary. Sometimes when you shoot like that, you can bring about, like, those weird vampire things. They'll just, like, come out. Oh yeah, these are the big dudes. That's right. Um, these guys are tough. Or the ones after. The ones that have like this weird teleport ability because they also have a shield. It's like a fire shield or something. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, see the fire shield thing? It sucks. Eh, still. I got you. to remember to reload. Just, I haven't really gotten the headshots down either. So, I mean, I mean, you know, I guess I'm doing okay, but hopefully the footage is a little bit better than last time. All else fails, just punch people in the face. 
that's how you get through Destiny. Which, I'm sure, I, uh, maybe Bungie will probably nerf this so that you can't do what I do anymore. Um, which makes sense. I mean, it's a really easy way to kill the enemies. Aren't you guys gonna come? Didn't you see me? What did I just do? Oh, I... Who increased their kill rank? It wasn't me. Did I do something? See, I can never know what's going on half the time. It's like, either I'm increasing my kill rank, or somebody else is increasing theirs. I don't know. Sure you can! Took down the wizard with one shot. So, yeah. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Uh... I love those super moves in this game. It's just so cool. Nope. One thing I've noticed too about this game is how, like, when you go inside the different, like, I guess you call them bunkers or old hideouts or whatever, each one of them is different. Like, it's not your uh, usual rundown, you know, gloomy bunker. Like, each bunker looks different. And I, I like the extra detail that Bungie and company have put into. You know, just how the environments and things like that look. I think it's pretty cool. Gives the, the game a little bit of... I don't know. Um, uniqueness, I guess. I don't know. But still, most of the enemies to me, they look like a mix between Skeletor and uh, those things from either Mummies Alive or... Like, um, I'm trying to think. What, what did I... I remember there was this character when I was a kid... You no, know, I know what it looks like now. I, they they look like the really strong enemies look like that one guy from um, you controlled goblins, and it was an RTS game. Was it Goblin Commander or something? It was on the Wii and Xbox and all this other stuff. So I don't really remember what it was though. I can't. I could see the game, but I can't think of the name. There were still more of them? That's not right. Well, I guess I didn't need to reload. I guess if you know the name of the game, uh, leave it in the comments section below. I actually have it, but that's what these armored enemies look like. They look like that weird commander who was like undead or something. And there was one game for the Xbox and then they had another one for the Wii and Xbox 360 or something like that. It was a pretty interesting RTS. Alright, so where am I now? Well, I guess we'll have to end this episode because I'm lost. But anyway, thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to like, and comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much for joining me in another episode of Destiny. Uh, next time, uh, we're going to do a little bit more exploring. And if you want to, I'll check out The Crucible. Thanks so much for watching. God bless and happy gaming. See ya.